Okay, I'm Chandan Kumar. I got uh, I got a job offer from from Amazon.com. Uh, from the internship which I did at Amazon itself. Okay, my journey for uh, for my internship began from a, a senior referral program. Actually, my senior uh, referred my resume to the human resource department of Amazon.com, and my uh, the first round which the HR people told me to give was a written test. The written test was conducted by a website called interviewstreet.com. So this website is currently used by many of the companies, technical companies, to host the questions and the coding questions on the website itself. So the written run comprised of 20 questions, which are MCQ basically. Out of 20 questions, uh, I guess four of uh, four comprise of uh, math subject, two were of computer networking, uh, I guess seven to ten of programming, and others were of uh, data structure and predicting the output. The simple usual programming uh, MCQ questions, and the remaining two questions were cold, were coding questions, and one was uh, completing the diameter of a tree, which is a pretty standard question, and it, it's, it is easily avail easily available in many of the textbooks. And the other question was uh, finding the pair of anagrams in a given set of words. So that question could be difficult if one does not know the trick to compute the anagrams. So basically what anagrams is if we jumble one word into another word and we keep the number of characters same, the other word would be called the anagram of the first one. So the trick to solve the anagram is if we sort the two words alphabetically, the two sorted lists would be would be comprising of the same same characters. So, for example, if it is A B C D and the anagram is A B D C. So, if we sort them, both will become A B C D A B C D. So, if we just uh, directly compare them, then we would know that the, these two words are anagram of each other. So, two days after the written test, I got a uh, call from the HR people that I have cleared my written run, and I'll be giving a uh, telephonic interview uh, in the next day itself. So usually there is not much gap between the result of written test and the interview round. So we have to be be optimistic that we would we will be clearing the written round and have to prepare for the interview from uh, prior, prior to the written test itself. So my interview was telephonic. So usually what what is done nowadays is the person or the interviewer opens up a Google Doc on which the questions the question is typed. So what Google Doc does is it's a live document. So whatever you are typing, the other person is able to see. Uh, what uh, what, your, what is your thought process and what is, uh, how you how you usually code and what is your typing speed? Typing speed does not usually matter, but at least they can see uh, your thought process. So my first question was to implement a queue using two stacks. This is also a pretty textbook question, but uh, one has but the solution is not so trivial if one has not done it before. But luckily, I have done this question in my uh, C++ course in uh, class 11th and 12th. Thus, I was e easily able to solve this uh, solve this problem. And the other question was quite difficult. It was finding if the tree is isometrical, sim uh, similar from its middle axis. So there are two solutions to to this problem. One is to find if the the child of the root node, two uh, two children of the root node are isometrically symmetrical. But this uh, solution did not strike me at the time of interview. Uh, so the solution which I gave was to find the level order traversal of each level. And put ones and zeros adjacent to the nodes which are present in nodes. For example, if a, a node has left child, I'll put one over there. And if the node does not have a left child, so we'll be putting a zero there. So in the end, at each level, we'll be having one one zero zero. So if we just check if the the subsequent array is palindrome, then we'll be able to know if that particular tree is isometrically symmetrical from its middle axis. So the interviewer was pretty impressed with this non-trivial solution because most of the people give the uh, usual solution that is by recursion which is given in the textbooks. So this gave me an edge over other students and the next day itself I got a call that I will be giving a second, uh, that I have cleared my first te uh, technical interview and I will be giving a second technical interview. So this interview was asked, asked from a different Amazon branch, I guess the previous, uh, first one was from Amazon Chennai and the second one was from Amazon Hyderabad. So in the second interview, he asked me a technical puzzle that I have to find a, I have been given a number, so I have to convert that number into binary comprising of ones and zeros and I have to find a second number which is subsequent number which contains equal number of ones and, and I have to make an optimized solution. So I could not use brute force that I could keep on adding one number to the other, like for example if I find for 5. I could not just simply go on to 6, 7, 8 and 9 and find if it contains equal number of 1's and the, and the number, a number is uh, greater than this number. So the optimal solution was found out after uh, 30 or 40 minutes of cross questioning but I was able to quote this question. So in this uh, round I was not, ha uh, not having an internet connection with, with myself. So the interview uh, allowed me to uh, submit the solution just uh, 5 or 10 minutes after the interview itself. 
but the condition was I have to use the same approach which I had discussed in the interview itself. So it could not be done that I could search on the internet or uh, uh, find a solution. So I had to quote the solution which I had discussed in the interview itself. From, and along with this question, he asked me about which products I have done in my previous college works, which I mentioned about the events which I took part in the college technical fests and the softwares which I had made for the uh, college technical uh, fest itself. And after this point, uh, I guess two days later, I got a offer from the human resource department that I cleared the entire internship process and I will be offered an internship at Amazon. I joined my internship during the month of June and July. The uh, duration of internship was for 8 weeks. The location I was working at was Amazon Chennai. So the team which I got assigned was Android develop uh, application development team. I believe that they segregate people among uh, different engineers based on their resume. For example, if I am good at uh, developing Android applications, they must have read from my resume itself that I am capable of making Android applications. So that's why they assigned me Android application development team. But I believe in some companies the procedure to divide engineers among teams is random considering that uh, the people might learn the work itself within few weeks. But I believe Amazon segregates on the basis of the work strength which you already have. So at, in my team I worked on three projects. Usually people have, you do only one project in, in the internship. The three, uh, three projects which I worked on was, one was for making application for Kindle Fire HD. The application was used to register the device on the Amazon servers and the application could be used to download ads from the server and display ad on the Kindle Fire. And the other project was managerial, it was not technical. The, I had to implement Scrum, it's a new software development methodology which is used in a big company. The previous development models like waterfall model and build and fix models are not outdated and not used these days. So Scrum is the latest model which is being used by big companies. And the third one was, uh, it was a confidential project uh, so far that I had to I discovered that there were, there were few loopholes in the security of Kindle Fires. So I discussed that the device could be hacked and I had to fix those security loops myself. So I was given some rewards from the uh, Amazon US team itself. So at the end of my internship, uh, we still had to face some technical interviews. So I had to go through two technical interviews uh, uh, in the last week of my internship. The first interview was taken by a software developer too. Uh, that is the rank given in the Amazon. Uh, SD1 is a junior engineer which we joined and SD2 is a senior one. So the interviews which were, uh, the questions which were asked were uh, new which were not found in usual books. So the first question was to develop a system to find uh, people who are already blacklisted on the uh, billing list. For example, if a guy orders a product from the Amazon and the Amazon is not able to extract uh, payment from him, for example, say his credit card does not work, so Amazon would blacklist that person in, in the server. There is an internal approach to find the blacklisted people, for example, who are, who are making fraudy orders. So I had to develop a system to find such culprits who are who might uh, make a fraudy order. I have to make an assumption, okay, this, this order seems fraudy that we might not get a payment from this particular order. So the system comprised of uh, checking of ad addresses which are already existing in the black blacklist. But the constraint was that the address which the user was at, uh, entering in the second time might not be exactly same as the first one. So I had to develop approaches to match, uh, make similar matches in the address. So one approach which I suggested was LCS, it's a dynamic programming approach. It checks the substring similarity in the two addresses. For example, if one address is how much the sim, uh, address is similar to the other address. For example, if a person lives in model town and the address is spelled as M-O-D-E-L in the black, uh, blackened list, but the user types M-0-D-E-L, it would still be uh, as modeled by the postman, but in the blackened list it would be M-O-D-E-L. So the computer, so that the computer can recognize that this is also existing in the black, uh, blacklist, it will compare uh, by using LCS. Another one was that uh, people might change the spelling of the city itself. For example, Delhi is spelled D-E-L-H-I. If I change the spelling D-E-H-L-I, the postman would still interpret that this could be a user error, but the computer need, uh, needs to know that this uh, error has uh, is intentional and the, the convert is trying to escape this uh, fraud address. So we could uh, check the anagram itself, which I have explained in the previous interview, that uh, we could check if the address is jumbled of the previous black and address. So if we compare them, then also we can know that the person could be a fraudy. And the second question asked me, asked to me was to, I uh, have been given a map, and the map has uh, different junctions, that is the roads are intersecting, and there are multiple streets and roads. So I have to strategically place policemen on the roads, uh, junctions, so that all the roads are safe. 
a road is safe if there is at least one policeman in the adjoining junctions of that particular road. So the constraint was that this map is a tree and not a graph. The problem becomes more complex if it is a graph. So given a tree uh, type colony, I have to place strategically policemen. Uh, how to make each and every road secure in the minimum number of policemen possible. So this was also a dynamic uh, programming problem which I solved within 30 minutes after a few hints and uh, cross questioning. Uh, so the result was that uh, we have to take care if the children of the tree, uh, one road is safe then the, uh, to protect the children the, node the parent has to take a policeman itself so this uh, trick leads to optimized solution I tried using hash, hash, uh, hash tables before but, uh, but that technique failed for some of the test cases later another question uh, I believe later she asked me about my projects which I had worked on my internship uh, which is the work I have uh, done in my previous two months and how much I have learned from it. Uh, this was bit, uh, pretty much in the first interview itself. And the subsequent day I had another interview. Uh, this Since I had been tested on data structures and algorithms in my previous day, so Amazon prefers to test on the remaining test subjects. So I, uh, the subjects which are remaining were computer networking and operating systems. So the next day I was grilled on operating systems for about 45 minutes. There were multiple questions on what is the difference between process and thread, on which the discussion continued for about 30 minutes. Uh, then how an operating system works, what is kernel, how are applications running on the low level, how chips are integrated, some of the things from the computer architecture itself. And then there was a duration for 15 minutes about the computer networking in which they asked me the famous OSI reference model and the difference between TCP and OSI reference model and uh, to explain step by step how does a browser work. For example, if I search Amazon.com and hit enter, what are the exact uh, steps in the backend that are happening when the Amazon.com is loaded on my computer server. So this was a purely networking based question and in the end uh, the interviewer uh, wanted to uh, try test my speed so he gave me a question to split a linked list into half and reverse the second half of the linked list in big of n time. So he gave me around seven, 5 or 7 minutes to solve that question and I was able to do that. So this pretty much compiled, uh, comprised of my two interviews after which week, week later uh, my internship got over I got a pre-placement offer from Amazon and so I believe that was based on uh, my performance at Amazon and the two interviews which I gave there. Now considering the tips uh, you might want to know about uh, getting a job in computers or IT company, the subjects which you need to focus on are basically uh, focusing on data structures which you could refer, uh, the book which you could refer was uh, Horvitz and Sunny which I personally referred myself. And for making your algorithm strong, you would refer to Corman. It's a pretty famous book and used worldwide in, even in MIT's and Harvard uh, universities. And the subjects which are uh, asked other from these subjects are uh, computer networking, uh, I don't exactly remember, remember the name of the book which I referred, and operating systems. Uh, the book which is famous for operating systems is known as the Dinosaur Book. I don't remember the name of the author, but it is usually referred as a dinosaur book in many computer students because the print, uh, the, the cover of the book contains uh, multiple dinosaurs. And as far as the marks are concerned, usually marks do not matter if you are technically strong because the companies, all, almost all of the computer and IT companies, they have written round itself. So they do not have, uh, unless there is a cutoff based on the marks say 7.5 or 8, after beyond that the marks do not really matter. If you have a 9.5 CGPA or 8 CGPA, that does not really matter. If you are able to cope the interviews and written down, then you will be through. And coming to Amazon specific tip, uh, tips. You need to focus on trees and graphs because trees are the most famous questions asked by Amazon people and uh, with, uh, the two subjects that is operating system and computer networks. These two subjects are usually ignored by people who are preparing for interviews. They just go through the questions on the websites or uh, programming questions and they lack the skills of handling questions for operating system. But I believe they contain equal weightage as far as the interview is concerned. So uh, I believe you need to focus on all these four subjects that is data structures, algorithms and networks and operating system and aside from that uh, computer people are expected to solve some puzzles because for example per se you are not able familiar with a particular platform but the company is able to check your IQ and intelligence and aptitude via puzzles. So they believe that you are at, uh, strong enough and you can think logically on a new, given new test case scenario so you will be able to learn a new programming language within a week or month so. So solving puzzles also helps in the technical interviews. I believe that should do it. Best of luck. Okay, one more personal tip. When you go for an internship and you are trying for a PPO, 
my personal advice would be please do not try too hard to get a PPO. Focus on your work and if you meet your deadlines and your work results show, then obviously you will get a job offer and if the company thinks you are good enough to work there, you will get the job offer. But if you are busy, busy making social connections there, that might be treated as a negative point.